Hey, it's Adam with Productivity Academy. Today, I want to show you how you can get the RSS feed for a playlist off of a YouTube channel. Now, a couple caveats before I show you how to do this. Um, it can depend on how the channel uh, owner or whoever's running the channel has things organized. Um, this may not always play well with, with everything you want it to. So, you know, buyer beware of using this. Um, but in general, you can form it um, and at least get access to it. Um, although again, it may the sorting and arrangement may work or not work for you depending on uh, how the channel uh, sets it. As far as I know, um, I haven't tried to make something to force it to be chronological in the sense of taking a non-chronological feed, let's say it's organized by most popular, um, and then trying to force it. Uh, I don't know if it's possible. I haven't used a different tool to like a third party tool to do that. I just wanna show you how you can grab um, the XML file basically that would allow you to import this into something like Feedly. Um, so basically what you wanna do is um, go into the channel you want. In this example, um, I'm just showing my uh, productivity tools and apps and we want to grab the ID, and that's everything after the equal sign up here. This is the playlist ID, okay? So we can copy that, and then we are going to come over, and I just have this in a text uh, file here online, um, and I will put this in the description below. You are just going to um, add the playlist ID you copied after the ID equals, okay? So now we have that. And if we open that up in Chrome, Chrome doesn't really do a great job of natively showing this stuff um, like Firefox does, um, but you can see that there is data there. So now let's go into, for example, Feedly or whatever feed reader you wanna use, and we're gonna follow a source. We're going to recopy that because we didn't actually copy the whole thing. Um, come in here, let's paste it in there, and it's showing um, already, it's grabbing the right one. Um, let's see, it says inactive, which is kind of funny. Um, let's follow it. I'm just gonna put it into summarily. And now let's go over here and check it out. So we'll go back into our feeds and we come over here and it says all articles have been either read or more than 30 days. Um, so let's go back and take a look. So right now it looks like it's showing it in the order of most popular. Uh, the best free ways to summarize YouTube videos, or maybe not, um, but it's showing something that's uh, six months old at the top, and then something you know almost two years old right here at the at the time of recording the video. Um, so this may or may not work, but that is a way to get it, and um, that's one way to do it. If you again, if you want to play with uh, messing with the chrono chronological order of it, um, you need to have access, I believe, to the channel. Um, so hopefully this works for you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you.